If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see how you can run your performance testing of your APIs within your Kubernetes cluster without any tools, without writing any script, just using the YAML configuration. There are so many Kubernetes IDs are available in the market, open source and also the paid version. Very famous one is OpenLens. So OpenLens is the fork of binary build of, you know, Lens IDE. So if you install OpenLens in your local, you can manage your Kubernetes cluster by leveraging the Lens features. And also you have the official Visual Studio Code extension from Microsoft to manage your Kubernetes cluster. So this one will give you the GUI within your Visual Studio Code, and then you can manage your cluster and other Kubernetes objects. And you have Lens. So Lens, initially it was started as a free version, then it got acquired by Mirantis, and they have free version as well as the paid version. This is one of the popular tool among the developers and the DevOps guys. And also we have Monocle. So Monocle, again, it's a, one of the best IDE to manage your Kubernetes cluster. So they have various flavors like free version, paid version, and also for the enterprise. And also you have Qui. So CLI driven graphics for Kubernetes, which is free, where you can get the hybrid mode of between the terminal and also the you know GUI to manage your Kubernetes version. And there are so many tools out there like Aptacube. If you just Google, you will get a lot of ideas. So if you love your terminal more, if you want to manage your Kubernetes using your terminal, then you have K9S. So this is the Kubernetes CLI to manage your clusters within your terminal. So this is free and you have the paid version as well, which is K9S Alpha. In this video, we are going to see how you can make use of K9S to run your performance testing. So if you just go to K9SCLI.io, you can see all the features and you can just scroll down to see about documentation like installation commands and you can change the look and feel and then also the benchmarking. So this is what we are going to explore today. So we are not going to you know, deep dive into uh, how to get started with K9S, but instead we are going to focus on this particular feature, benchmarking. So K9S gels with the tool called Hey. So Hey is one of the tool where you can run your quick load test to benchmark your HTTP calls. Now let us see how you can get started with K9S. K9S supports Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So right now let us use the brew formula to install the K9S in Mac OS already installed. So to verify, you can just issue K9S version and hit enter, you will see the version and other details. To launch K9S, just type K9S and hit enter. So this will read your Kubernetes config file and then it will go with the default, uh, you know, setup. So right now my uh, context is uh, Docker desktop, as you see here, and the cluster is Docker desktop. On the top, you, can, you will get the shortcuts. So Using this only, you can navigate between your Kubernetes objects. And right now, I don't have any Kubernetes metric server. Otherwise, it will display the CPU and memory of the nodes. And right now, I am using the uh, default uh, namespace, which is the context is uh, emoji boto, as you see here. And these are the pods, which is up and running. So to navigate between the pods and deployments, for example, these are the pods. So how do I know it is pod? Because you can see it here at the bottom left. So now I want to switch to deployment. So what you have to do, you have to just type colon and type the respective Kubernetes object and tab for autocomplete and hit enter. You now you will see all the deployments. So whenever you see any objects to know what type of object, you can go with the bottom left corner to see the details. And to go inside the particular deployment, hit enter by navigating between the up and down arrow key. So now I am inside the deployment emoji. And right now, as you see here, there are uh, uh, two restarts and running and the node is Docker desktop. And uh, again, uh, as you see here, these are the shortcuts to navigate within this particular object. So now let me go back. So to go back, you can just press escape, which will go back to the previous screen. So now let me go to the pod and let us uh, port forward the particular web service. So to port forward, again, you can see 
at the top which is uh, this section so shift f for port forward just select the pod and press shift f which will ask you to the enter the container port local port address and hit enter so now port forward is activated as you see here at the bottom now let us go to the browser and localhost and hit refresh as you see the application is up and running so now i want to run a quick benchmark test for this particular api so how do i do that just go to the particular you know pod or deployment and hit enter now it will go inside the container so this is the container view and here again if you go enter you can see the logs but to run the benchmark you need to go inside the port forward by using the uh, f command so now it is displaying the port forwards so at the bottom you can see here bottom left corner you can see the port forward information so now at the top you can see there are shortcuts to run the benchmark delete and help and view benchmarks so if you go inside by pressing the enter key you will see there's nothing so benchmarks there is no results so to escape again and to run the benchmark press control l so now at the top right as you see the benchmark is completed here at the top right so to go inside the benchmark to view the benchmark hit enter so we executed twice so that's why you are seeing uh, two uh, benchmarks so here as you see there are uh, request per second and uh, 200 codes and the status is uh, pass and name so everything you can see here so this is where the report is getting stored so each benchmark will have a report so now let us go inside the report so here you can see the summary the summary of how many seconds it got executed total data sends and the response time histogram if you scroll down you can see the latency distribution and the details with respect to dns dialog lookup request write wait read and status code distribution so by default it will run 200 requests so there are default settings for benchmarks but you can also customize so how do you customize this so you have to create the benchmark.yaml now let us quickly go to the ans uh, cli io and here we just click on the benchmarking and here as you see the initially the benchmark will run with the concurrency level of one with 200 requests and it will hit the home page using the http verb get call but if you want to customize your execution you can use the benchmarks.yaml so there are certain conventions you have to use to create the benchmarks so one is using the containers so where you can run the containers using this particular context here or you can use the services so services again uses certain convention and then you can configure your settings like concurrency and requests so how do we create this particular yaml file so you need to go to this particular xdg config home slash kns and you have to name like bench hyphen context dot yaml so this would be yml not yaml so there are certain things you have to follow by reading the documentation now let us go back to the terminal and let us create a new tab here i am going to cd into this particular location so for mac os so this is what you have to do so you have to go to this particular uh, location and you have to create using the naming convention so the naming convention for this is bench hyphen the context dot yaml so once this is done hit enter and i'm going to copy one yaml here and let us go quickly so here we are running a container based benchmarking so container based benchmarking requires a couple of things so one is you need to name your container object using the emoji voto which is the namespace and using the container sorry uh, the pod name and the container name and then you have to mention the concurrency number of requests and http so this particular http will always give error so this will fail actually whenever we run this it will show you error http 500 and these are the commented ones so this particular section if you want to hit the services using the host or load balancer you can use the services so these are commented out 
So let me just uh, hit escape and let me write this. So once you write your particular uh, benchmark, you know, YAML, so this section will change. So if you see this particular section, now it has the similar thing, whatever we mentioned in the benchmark. So this is how you will find what is the benchmark URL you are testing in K9S. And also the, you can see the, you know, concurrency here and uh, the, uh, the requests, you know, so you can see a lot of details in the particular terminal. Let us uh, see how you can run the particular benchmark. So make sure the container name, the object name is namespace and the uh, name of the pod and the container. So here you can see the particular details, you know, web service and the web here and the emoji photo is the uh, namespace and hit control L. So now I'm hitting again. Let us run a couple of times and let us go back. And here, as you see the first one, so this section, so this is what we executed now. How do I know using the time? And if you go inside the particular benchmark and let me just uh, exit this, we don't need this. And if you just scroll down, you can see the status code, which is 500 because this is what we benchmarked against because the donut is always written 500. So now if you get escape, you can see you are all benchmarks. And if you want to delete some of the benchmarks, control D and it will uh, display this particular uh, dialog box. And if you just uh, hit OK, the particular benchmarks will be, you know, it will go away. Quick thing. So there are a couple of, uh, you know, tricks and uh, tips in KNS. So one is the X-ray feature. You just type X and uh, pod. So this will give you the tree view of your pods. And if you want to see the pulse, so you can just type pulse. So this will give you the uh, graphical representation of all your deployments, replica sets, stateful sets, daemon sets. Only if you have the matrix server is installed, otherwise it will not display anything. So these are some of the uh, no, tips and tricks. And uh, for the help, you can just uh, type uh, question mark where you can see all the help. So here you can see deployments, uh, replica sets. Uh, so that's now you, this is how you navigate on the particular uh, screen. So it's very uh, neat tool and uh, the UI is beautiful, colorful. Uh, you can also customize the look and feel. And if you want to have some premium features, you can go with KNS Alpha. So without leaving your Kubernetes cluster, you can run the benchmark in K9S. It's a pretty good feature. And I know it is kind of limited when it comes to running the load testing, but if you want to really benchmark your APIs, definitely you can take a look at K9S. So thank you guys. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.